the, um, you know, you want to have enough money to be able to buy that shard. The, the fact that it's a, a strong dispel when it ends is insane. It's a long way away, though. Elsie doesn't really have much of anything. Phantom Lancer, he's forced to go all the way back into the jungle. So these heavy rotations really paying dividends for SMG. We can see with the Arcane Rune bottled up here by Nia. Lane. Mid one's going to be able to get the ward out. Is the health enough? It's not. Alacrity coming through what mizu is going to have at that is he going to go into the uh the shard i mean he's only got the one point in the spirit lance which i suppose makes sense for now oh nice play once again radiant they're just so aware of the movements coming through from galaxy Rage, so they instantly mirror the movement mid they knew they were gonna try and nice d ward coming through there from galaxy racer even though no one actually died in this tri camp they just said well people are dying all around the map we just can't let it be misery. Apollo's nope. dying across the map again. Mid one. He's going to be happy about getting the crit there to claim the to be able to destroy the egg here. So, you know, the way for Galaxy Race to get the farm for Mizu, but also try and find these key pickoffs. Well, I think the way that they're playing it is perfect, right? Like, mid one's up here. He's playing Super Ballsy, and they're going to go for a pickoff here, but he's got the Aegis. They're going to be able to respond. Like, that's all you have. You're going to take away the Aegis, but now you've got nothing else. You're not going to get another kill. <laughs> like, can they find the burst? Oh, nice stroke of faith from Arthur. They stopped the blink, and Nia's actually going to jump on forward. Oh, the no. instant burst. They find the Sky Mage, but the Wabak's going to come through now for the Water of Kisses along with the Omni Slash. The damage is too much for Galaxy Race to be able to deal with. They're going to drop the Doom, the Supernova on the back line. Mid one will lose his life. They're unable to deal with the Egg, but it pushes SMG back. They're going to zip on forward here. Galaxy Racer, so they sense blood. They want to take care of this advantage here, but Nia cuts him down. The magic damage too much for them to handle. Tiny, no way to cancel the TP. They'll still find Mushi see that shard we've got the grim stroke building into it already just about 75 gold away and again that's just going to enable mid one to be that much more survivable see you later phoenix they're gonna jump on forward there's a healing one on the back line for the burst damage knee is gonna try and tank up the mystic flare but they still bring him down the double through from smg oh they hit back ever so hard even dropping the water kisses but knee has got the blink up once again all the arsenal coming into play here for that fight they buy back on alacrity they have to get something out of it and they don't even get the tiny kill they don't even buy kp all they have to get is the they are pretty close to some of the level 18 timings, so not as impactful for the, the tiny, but an extra point in the Omni Slash could be pretty nice here for the Jog. Jumping forward, still the healing ward once again. Nia is going to jump in. So he's over a bottle, but it won't matter here. They will burst through the Juggernaut. And now with the Supernova getting dropped in the middle, but the little Shredder, they have to jump on Mushi, but they haven't been able to. And Alacrim is out of mana. He pulled back last fight, and he's going to end up falling down for 70 seconds. And Nia, he's still hunting. Low kill. And the rest of Radiant were able to just stand that ground down bar. He's got boots of travel. Join anytime he wants. Um, wave, just making sure. Oh, they might try and burst it down here. They will. First life's gonna get taken away. Been able to soulbind on top of the back line. They find both the supports leashing them up. Mid one's gotta be careful. The jewel. Where's the backup of the rest of the team? Now with the blade belt, a lot of damage. Mid one's gonna get a little bit of space now with the cookie. The health of the solar crest as well. Mid one queued back up. The egg's gonna end up popping, but it does absolutely nothing. Just forcing SMG to retreat outside the base. But can they turn back? Mid one's gonna get brought down here, and our KP as well. Alacrity continuing the chase, Mizu hunting as well, got the Diffusal Blade slow and KP will fall. So there's the high ground there. Dire, they bring it down, but they still have to retreat. They haven't been able to get set up here. And KP should be able to lock him in, even pops the BKB just in case there's any counter initiation. There will not be though. Man, those quick fingers though from Nia. This is the creep wave there on the Storm Spirit, so you are going to get a decent amount of damage at least force out this blip. Yeah, you're nowhere near as concerned about getting that 100 to 0 burst. Oh, Silence, look at the damage! Oh my god, nice! He's still going to fall though, that Orchid ticks him out and our KP burnt down. He used the BKB previously in Galaxy Racer again. Hold the higher gun, but they found Mushi. Do they have a way to cancel the TP? Is the damage there? It is. But Neo, he committed in. He's still got BKB, attempts to TP out the Supernova. I think it's a little bit too early. Oof. 
Yeah, uh, there's a nine second cooldown on the ink spell, so they can use it kind of at their uh, leisure here. Ink spell, he's going in with it. Here we go. Oh, Katar, oh, along with the Mystic Flare, first life got to fall, they got to be careful, they got the leash on top of the real Phantom Lancer, where's the Doom coming through, however, they force back KP, the Doom's out once again, now with the Jewel, Supernova's going to end up popping, oh, oh. You know, uh, I know the struggle, We're back right, in. here we go, what kind of talking did they do in that little pause, he's going to be able to, no, no, not enough, flash. move on fours, but still, Storm along with the lead, and they got buybacks, but he's just going to be careful though, the a second Doom's gonna come out. The buyback forced out. Galaxy Racer, an incredibly costly fight here. They need to get more heroes. All buybacks from Dive. They need more. What are they gonna get? lacrid has got mana. Zips on four for one. You can be standing too far away from your team, though. You need to be able to join the uh, team fight at a moment's notice. This needs to be a full five man encounter. Oh, mid one. Oh, mid one. Just this time. Team on the back line. No, they jumbled together. They swear, but to find the jewel. The Blade Fury is out, but look at the damage. It just shreds apart the Legion. And over the Doom as well. They find the Storm. No buybacks available. It's all up to the Phantom Lance. And Mizu, can he do it? Mid one falling rope. And over the Inks, well, once again, buffed off. Thanks for off. Doom. Mid one's going to get a nice amount of health back. The healing one on the back line as well. Now it's going to look to turn, but the only side's mid one. Is able to stand his ground up on the higher ground. SMG. They got the numbers advantage. Mizu, he just can't do it himself. Need to try and get the illusions out, but the stun's there. They found the real Phantom Lance, and they're going to be able to burn him down. Mizu, the raid boss, PO. That ain't enough. You Galaxy Race. Worth using it on the Phoenix. Yeah, this, this game's done. I, wanna, I actually saw a really cool interaction there. I wasn't sure about it previously, but I guess if you use an AoE stun, it does show the stun bar over the... You. I, I'm just going to need to, when we're in game, I want to review where the small camp is the center, and you can see he's suffering, already at a 600 net worth disadvantage here, a full level behind, the Monkey King, he's got the uh, the extra range, going to be able to catch him up here, maybe with the mist coil, oh, getting a little bit too selfless there was Mushi. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Should stop. <laughs> Yeah, we shall see. Well, they're going to try and make that as hard as possible. We've got a smoke coming through here from Nier and Afu. Don't have the vision to spot him out just yet, but they have found uh, Monkey King on the top side. And Rock Stampede dropped, and Monkey is going to take out to the Magnetize along with the Shadow Word. Nice kill. They're going to make sure that... Well, now they're like, well, we've had uh, we've had our fun mid. Time for you to die, KOA X, right? He's under attack. Maybe if they could even get the stampede out of him, that'd be great. Trying to get him to pop it super early, and then they're just going to pincer him from the bottom side. What's the opposite of regicide? Yeah, nice move. Still a bit knee. Can he get the damage? No way. Mizu, Shadow Word, how's he still alive? Trent's paying off massively. Mizu, no! Stampede is out. A okay, Nia, though. At least SMP gonna try and find some extra kills on the side of Galaxy Racer. They drop the rock along with the raw magnetize. A lot of damage. SMG, they dive too far now, but how many heroes are they gonna lose? Mizu, he's coming back. He wants some revenge. He's like, you boys bring the pain. I want a couple of kills here, but mid one. Just, he's standing on a tree. Do they know? Do they know? I don't think they do. He's waiting for that illusion to time out. What? <laughs> Mid one, even you can't think this much. Oh, he's gotta go in. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> something, you know, along the lines of a TA or something in mid that's actually gonna carry the game for you. Mm. Still, working out pretty well so far for SMG. They're gonna jump in on KYXY. Doesn't have the uh, Stampede available. They're just another really quick move from, from SMG. I'm incredibly impressed. Like, I, I don't know how game up in the face of Galaxy Racer, pushing them away from the real key heroes, and oh, a Roche for free. Or is it for free? Ages on the ground, Wukong's roll. Everything dropped to find the Razor kill. But now they can continue moving. Galaxy Racer actually holding a high ground at the moment. Around the choke point, they're gonna roll in. Still on the Wukong. Nice roll, Fatal Bonds! Oh my god, Radiant! They don't care about fighting into the Wukong! Look at the combo! But it doesn't matter, mid one! He's got the backup of Mushi. He's got the backup of KP. 
He stands his ground. KYXY might still fall. A blink away. What just happened? Like it, it, Fatal Bonds is on one person right now, so essentially nobody. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Rocks up in a couple of seconds, KYXY. Tries to start the fight. They're gonna drop the rock in the back, but where's the extra initiation from Radiant? They haven't utilized the rock to full usage here. It just gets dropped for nothing. Miz is gonna try and clean off our food. We'll be able to do so. But they've already lost two heroes, and now Dai can just stand their ground. Mushi will fall. Mizu is doing a lot of work with the illusions. He's gonna try and deal with KP. They're completely avoiding the Phantom Lance of the Roman, and Miz is making them pay for it as he gets a triple with the Boundless Strike. They're finally able to bring down the Phantom Lance and our SMG, the two cores, they can go back in. Mid one still got the ages for another minute ten here. Mizu's actually going to buy back, so he's going to try and punish how deep SMG are, and mid one just has to sit his ground in a man fight, but KP is going to come back. He's got the boots to travel. He'll be able to rejoin this fight. Nia as well as TP back, and hopefully has a remnant to help out. He's going to join them now. Remnant now? Is it enough though? They're going to be careful. Mizu's actually going to end up falling here. KP finds it with the axes, and that KYXY stamp he didn't allow him to reset. <sighs> that is a uh, 23 minute dieback on your position one carry that was doing pretty well on the, oh, they uh, wow. the gold front. And yeah, I mean, it's it's very hard to come back from that. It felt like an all or nothing play. And again, this Beastmaster, you cannot give it away. I feel like with the Grimstroke as well, it's just 